So even though we've covered a ton of Clubhouse Games 51 Worldwide Classic so far, including a competition with Treehouse, which, is, which you should go check out by the way because it's a lot of fun, you guys still have a ton of questions about this game. So to answer them, I'm joined by Don, who's been playing a ton of the game himself, to answer hopefully as many as we can. So first of all, my first question to you, Don, is how are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Perfect. I'm glad to have you here because uh, even though I played a fair amount of this game, you played even more. So I think you can help fill in uh, the blanks I have when it comes to some of these questions. So sure. let's go ahead and dive into it. First one comes to us by Tyler Quill who asks, are all 51 games unlocked from the start or do they or do they unlock as you play? Well, they're unlocked all from the start, <laughs> luckily. Uh, so yeah, no need to um, really unlock anything. Uh, but Don, I believe there are some unlockables in this game, right? That's correct. Uh, some of the alternate uh, deck parts or the other stuff that you will need, like the higher difficulty settings, uh, you will need to unlock as you play. Okay, good to know. Uh, ben asks, the graphics look unnecessarily good for what is basically a board game compilation. How about sound? Are the music and sound design worth writing home about? Yeah, the graphics are fan phenomenal in this game. They're basically uh, like photorealistic. Uh, but Don, what's your right. quick take on the actual audio in the game? I, I think the music is great. It, it's great background audio. Um, I prefer some of the songs, like the the Globe uh, music track is amazing. Mm -hmm. um, others, I, I, it's they're okay. Uh, they're great background music, but nothing more, nothing less. Yeah, but that's overall, exactly like it. Music. It fades in yeah. the background. It's totally fine, but I can't remember any of it except for the Globe music, which you mentioned, which I like. <laughs> Uh, well, there are a few checks that I do remember, but uh, yeah, there are other ones, yeah. Whatever. Next up, Norman asks, Hope I'm not too late for the conversation. Can you change the difficulty of the AI when playing in single player? Don? Yes, I uh, mentioned before that the difficulties are unlockable. So you f always first on normal, then you go to hard, then impossible, and um, no, amazing, and then impossible. Mm -hmm. That's the correct order. <laughs> Right, um, and they seem to be yeah, pretty it's... well balanced in my in in my experience. Like normal seems to be a good uh, tutorial level, but once you start cranking yeah. it up, it gets really difficult. Right? <laughs> in, in, impossible is bizarre. So with Richie Mahjong, for example, uh, they have some really crazy BS luck that is <laughs> unparalleled with anything I've seen in the video game before. I'm already afraid. <laughs> Lord, yes. Lord Jack asks. I heard there are actually 52 games. Is this true? Why aren't they advertising it? So it technically is true in that there's 52 options on the main menu with a 50 second one being a piano. The thing is, it's not really a game. It's just a bonus where you can literally play a piano. So that's why they don't consider it, you know, uh, beyond 51. Um, but it is nice as a little bonus. However, there are technically a couple different uh, modes for some of these games, such as how Billiards has uh, an 8-ball and 9-ball option, which does right. technically elevate it above 51. But again, since there are a subset of existing games, I think that's why Nintendo didn't count it. Um, next up, we have uh, from Game Gamer Letter who asks, "How does the online or how does the online perform? Any lag or communication errors so far?" So, Don, you've had we had a chance to play against each other as well as I think you played uh, a few other people. What's your uh, yeah. quick take on this? So, um, overall, I had a good online experience. I feel that with a couple of people, I did have some lag, especially when we had a wider connection or his. Their connection was kind of poor. Overall, though, I would say it held up pretty well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, we had you live on the other side of the globe from me, and we didn't have much issue. There, in some of the more action-focused games, I did notice a delay, but most of the games are turn-based, so it doesn't really matter much in that sense. <laughs> um, so right. yeah, overall, seemed to be pretty solid based on my experience so far. But again, it's still early. Um, sure. We have a question from uh, Raymond who asks. Can this game be enjoyed by many gamers, including hardcore, casual, tabletop slash card players, and players who aren't into games at all? What do you think about that, Don? I agree, absolutely. That's totally possible. Yeah. So um, I have been mostly playing it with my family because of the whole staying inside thing, and uh, they've been really lamenting to it. They especially love the one versus one stuff, so they mostly be playing it on the touch screen because they are not really well when it comes to controllers. Right. <laughs> yeah, that makes but, sense. Um, <laughs> But they're slowly getting into things, and we have been actually playing with Joy-Cons now, so they're slowly building up to the point where they can independently play on the Switch. <laughs> and, and it really does feel like the perfect successor to Animal Crossing, but I think Animal Crossing got a lot of people like my mom, who aren't used to, do, to controllers, uh, you know, it, it gave them an opportunity to understand how they work. Totally. And as you touched on too, tabletop, perfect. You just use a touchscreen, it's like playing an actual game, or an actual board game, I should say. 
Um, right. And speaking of playing, we have a question from Run Jump Stomp, uh, who runs a podcast that I'll be on in the near future. I was actually already on, but it hasn't aired yet. Who asks, <laughs> how is the bowling? Only motion controls or options? So bowling is uh, bowling is interesting because it is similar to Wii Sports, but not close enough. Or <laughs> let me put it this way. I prefer Wii, Wii Sports bowling, but as a mode in this game, it's still perfectly fine and it's fun. And there are two ways to play, being with motion controls and touchscreen controls. Now, I haven't tried the touchscreen controls myself. But I believe, have you had the chance to, Don? Yes, I have. How did those compare to, uh, to swinging a Joy-Con? They felt kind of weird. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> I, like, I, I you basically flick off the wrist. I prefer playing darts that way, mm -hmm. because I really don't like darts' as control scheme. But bowling, it feels weird without a motion controller in your hand. Mm, I get, okay, I see. I actually like darts. Um, Next up, from Barriers yeah. Get Smashed, uh, they ask, Any cool Easter eggs you discovered in any of the games? So unless you count the unlockable Nintendo uh, deck of cards you can use, or decks of cards you can use in some of the games, there's not a right. ton that I've found, except for maybe one, and that's when you're playing the piano. If you turn it upside down, like literally turn the switch upside down, <laughs> you, uh, it turns into a keyboard instead, which changes its instruments. In addition, uh, the other players can can pop in with a Joy-Con and shake it like maracas or different instruments, but holding different buttons. Now, the game kind of tells you this if you explore the uh, the tutorial, so it's not really that much of an Easter egg, but that's the closest I've found. Have you found anything else, Don? No, not really. Yeah, it's, it's mostly been the Nintendo cards, really. Yeah, what you see is what you get, pretty much. <laughs> um, Atwalp asks, is the game worth the price point? So before we answer this, this is uh, just our preliminary thoughts. This isn't a review. But uh, in the U.S. at least, this retails for $40, which is 20 bucks less than a standard game. Don, do you think it's worth the price point? Uh, it's it's a similar pricing scheme here. Um, but yeah, I definitely think it's worth it. Yeah. I absolutely really enjoyed everything that I played of it. Especially now, um, where we get to play board games between family members. I, I've been getting so much mileage out of this game. And the online seems to work well. Of course, we need to wait until launch day to really make that sure. But overall, though, I really enjoyed what I played so far of it. Yeah, it's less than a buck per game, and most of the games here are extremely polished. I mean, the only ones I think, uh, the only ones I have maybe some, some slight issues with are the ones I'm comparing directly to other variations you've seen in the past, like Wii Sports Bowling or Tanks and Wii Play, for mm. instance. So yeah, it's okay. a yeah. super, uh, super well-valued package, I think. I think the only game out of the package, by the way, that I didn't really enjoy all too much is Ludo. <laughs> Oh, really? I haven't had a chance to play that one yet, so... <laughs> um, yeah, now I'm a little Ludo doesn't too. really have much much speed-up options, so that's why I kind of oh, feel I it's kind of slow in compared okay. to the rest of the game, but Got yeah. It. Uh, Jan the Man asks, Does the game support random online matching with other players without without the use of codes or Switch friend codes? So yeah, it does. You can hop in with other friends, create a lobby, and have up to four, uh, three other friends join you, or you can play with randoms, in which case, as I explained in one of our videos, you can just select uh, up to three games you want to play, and then while you're waiting for other players to select those games, you can then go play wherever you want a single player, which is super cool. Um, Jan the Man, Man also asks, though, uh, if you, uh, what's the level of terrain variations in that tank game, or are there a preset amount of arena configurations in their setup? So there's kind of two answers to this question. One, there's technically multiple, uh, quite a few variations, maybe p almost unlimited variations. You're playing in mosaic mode where you can put four switches yeah. next to each other and create different arenas based on how the switches are arranged, which is super cool. But uh, if you're playing, I think, um, if you're playing battle tanks, I believe there's only three arenas. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Don. But when you're playing team tanks, I believe there's quite a bit more. Have you finished team tanks yet, Don? Or uh, I've not finished team tanks not yet anyway. how many stages have you played in it i played three of them oh okay do you did any more unlock after that do you know or i don't think that there were but i'm not 100 sure okay. on that. yeah i'm not 100 sure either i thought i heard there were more but i can't verify that so um so yeah we'll we'll get back but, to you but on yeah when it comes to you. yeah when it comes to variation it mostly comes down to how objects are placed mm -hmm. i mean one of them is mostly filled up with bricks and that's actually like a pretty much a hard burner, but there are some other ones that have more strategic elements to it. It just depends kind of on the map. Right. Uh, Nate Dog asks, can you play the games locally with only one Switch? I'm looking forward to playing this game with my mom and brother, but we, we only have a single Switch in the house. I'm curious if there are games in the package that we can still play together just by only having one Switch. So I've got good news for you, Nate Dog, at least for the most part, and that is pretty much almost every game in this game uh, in Clubhouse is play, or most of them are playable on a single Switch. Minus a few exceptions. I think there's a, uh, you know, you can't play the four single player games um, in multiplayer, of course. And I think, I, I, if I remember correctly, there are seven card and tile based games 
that do that do require everyone else to have their, their own switch. Yes. Just, just, okay. I actually have them in front of me. Those are Dominos, Hanafuda, Richie Mahjong, Last Card, Texas Hold'em, Presidents, and Sevens. Perfect. There we go. Uh, however, if you want to play with three or four players on a single switch, your options become way more limited. There are only three games available for play on a single player switch with three players, or sorry, a single switch with three players, and uh, two games for four players. So there you go. Um, yeah. Let's see. Oscar asks. Besides the Mario Trinity designs, are, are there more ways to customize how the games look? Are there any, uh, are, are, can you unlock any of these, or do you have to meet any, any criteria to unlock them? So Don, beyond uh, the Nintendo cards you've mentioned, have you found any other ways they can customize the appearance of these games? Not really. Okay. Well, there you go. So if there is anything in there, they're either really obscure or well hidden, but yeah, there, it yeah. doesn't seem like there may be. So, uh, Connor asks... Um, how many of the 51 games do you honestly see yourself playing regularly or somewhat regularly, or at least more than once or twice? So, wow, that's a really good question. I don't know if we can answer at this point. But, Don, if you just had to guesstimate, how many games do you think you might actively return to? Just a ser like super quick answer. We don't need to go into how you know which one specifically. I think, I think slightly more than half. Okay. Especially online. Yeah, there you go. That's really. That, I think that sounds probably about right for me. Um, but again, that's something we can probably answer better in the full review coming up in the next week or two, I think. Right. Uh, there are a few games that would actively avoid playing, but for the rest, I I'm totally down with whatever I people would play with me. Right. Daniel asks, how good are the tutorials for the more complex games? The one that comes to mind for me is Mahjong. I really loved learning how to play it a few years ago, but it is pretty complex from what I remember. Do the tutorials make it easy to pick up new games? So, uh, yeah, and I think another example I've seen a lot of people ask about is uh, Hanafuda. So, Don, yes. did, have you, uh, did you have experience with those games, and have you found that the more complex games were, were... Did you find the tutorials sufficient for you to understand how to play them? So, yeah, like, games like Rigi Mahjong, Shogi, and Chess, and a bunch of others, including Hanafuda, um, I had let very little familiarity with, so I went through the tutorials, which they offer, like, very gracefully. Uh, they've been multi-step. So you start with the basics, then you learn more with every step. Mm -hmm. uh, you're free to make mo moves as you see fit in the tutorials, but it will guide you towards an endpoint. And I think overall, they've been pretty helpful, especially um, the one for Shogi and Chess, because I'm not really too familiar with them. But they made me actually like really good players by the end. That's awesome. That's good to hear. I've had uh, I haven't tried those games specifically, so I can't uh, answer those. But yeah, my experience overall has been the tutorials do a good job. Each each game has a little like cutscene, a little, little, little quick explanation. It does a pretty sufficient job of getting up to speed for most of them. Right. But if you need to get into the nitty gritty beyond that, there's like a step by step tutorial. And what really helps too is the fact that obviously the game limits your options to only the legal ones and that automatically helps to make it easier to understand how these games work whereas in real life you have no right. idea what your op you know what you the limits are of your turn unless you actually understand the instructions so that also helps so yeah the game does a really good job in that sense i think of uh we have to we have to mention though that chess and like shogi are open-ended which makes it much more difficult to learn right uh, so that's why they include like bigger tutorials for those specific games and kind of to that point uh, dylan asks how faithful are the games to the real life counterparts so obviously we haven't played every game in real life but in my in my experience <laughs> these seem pretty faithful like it it feels like yeah. you're playing the real life version uh in in the game with the only main exceptions being the ones that are obviously like either toy or more um arcade like versions i'm thinking specifically like toy soccer which is kind of like um foosball or uh, toy baseball or uh, even golf um, which is similar to Wii Sports, but a more abstract, arcadey version of it with a top-down view. Uh, but what yeah. do you think, Don, real quick? Uh, totally, I agree with that. Only the few that aren't on that level are the weirder ones. Uh, even the football table is not really necessarily exactly like a regular football table, because right. football tables have these uh, horizontal stanks where all those characters would hang on but they free move more freely so all the games are very more abstract than you usually find even in real life right yeah, but the board when it comes to actually like board games and card games themselves they feel extremely faithful um right and, like, for instance even the ones that are clearly that like that are based on real life games but can't use the name for copyright reasons i'm thinking of uh uh, last card, which is obviously based on Uno, and sure enough, it feels just like Uno. <laughs> so, and, and, and most important thing is that comparison to the DS version, they actually made specific cards for last card. 
Oh, really? All right. Yeah. Well, in the original, go. they actually used a regular deck for last card, which was kind of funny in hindsight. Yeah, I actually I, I actually appreciate that because it, it actually feels even more than, I imagine, like you're playing Uno now than you were before. Totally, yeah. yeah. Uh, Brandon asks, is it true they can't use a Pro Controller online? So this one, so they actually linked to a tweet, which unfortunately got some pretty big traction online, at least, you know, by Clubhouse standards. Uh, that mm. was spreading some misinformation about the game that the Pro Controller doesn't work online. That's not true at all. The Pro Controller absolutely works online, with the only exception being it won't let you play two games that require uh, one-handed motion controls being darts and bowling. Beyond that, yeah. it works totally fine. Uh, however, the, the, the part that maybe the person who tweeted that got confused with is for whatever reason, you cannot use a Pro Controller when playing local multiplayer. It forces you to use a Joy-Con, and I did find that a little bit annoying. I mean, from some perspective, it totally makes sense because it's just unclicking the Joy-Cons and you're ready to go with two people. Um, but like, yeah, outside of that, like playing single player and playing online, it's totally possible to play with a pro controller. Mm -hmm. uh, Kyle asks, is this considered the Wii Sports for the Switch? Ooh, that's, mm. that's a good question. I No, I mean, I can kind of see it, but I, don't, I, I, I also don't. What do you think, Don? It's more of a follow-up to what, because this is made by ND Cube. Mm -hmm. This feels more like a follow-up what they made with Wii Party and Wii Party U. Like the weirder stuff and that, they seem to make a full game surrounding it about board games. Right. Yeah, I mean, the, the thing with Wii Sports, like, it really, like, it was, it was a great showcase of a new system and controller. And this isn't really a showcase or anything. It's just a really well-done compilation of games that already exist, you know. Um, and granted, yeah, totally. Yeah, so... Uh, next up, we have a question from Bio who asks, Can you play games like darts and bowling with motion controls instead of touchscreen in tabletop mode, or does it have to be docked? That's a good question. Have you tested this, Don? In tabletop mode, you definitely can do so. It just depends how you want to play it, I guess. Okay, so you I have mean, the option. You... you can play either way. You can play either way. If you're playing with a light, of course, well, you can't really pop off the Joy-Cons because it doesn't have any. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you are playing with... A regular Switch, and you have it in tabletop, you can play it with a regular Joy-Con if you want to. All right, good to know. Christian asks, is a tank minigame a proper successor to Wii Play Tank? So I'll probably feel this one. I'm a huge Wii Play yeah. Tanks fan. And you, right you can see me flipping out, or you see me flipping out. Like, I flipped out on Twitter when I saw it in the initial trailer. So the the quick answer to this is no. It's not Wii Play Tanks. The biggest differences are Wii Play Tanks, you had you could aim completely freely of, how you were, of the direction you were moving, whereas in this game, you can't. You, the direction you're moving in is the direction you're aiming in. So it feels quite a bit simpler. Um, and then it also just feels like it doesn't have as... Uh, even from the number I may have heard it had, the amount of stages it may have, it still comes up short compared to Wii Play. And it just feels, yeah, overall just a very simplistic take on it. So mm. it's still fun, but it's not Wii Play tanks. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, it's still cool as a bonus, but I wouldn't rec I wouldn't recommend buying it with the intent that you're getting a Wii Play, tank, Wii Play tank sequel. If anything, it's closer to tanks in Super Mario Party. In fact, it's almost identical to that. So there you go. Um, next up, we have a question from, um, actually, we have a few repeats here. Uh, Dylan, who asks, are there any references to other Nintendo games in it? So, uh, one of the, what's kind of cool is when you access the globe, so the globe uh, allows you to bring up players from around the world to see what games they recommend, but the default players uh, are ones built into the game, and one of them specifically uh, brings up a variety of games that Nintendo themselves have or still do manufacture, which is really neat. Um, but beyond that, Don, have you noticed any other references to Nintendo in here? Sadly not. Uh, the game specifically do give you some Nintendo details if you unlock the the, the little trivia from them. Mm -hmm. But outside of that, there hasn't really been anything outstandishly Nintendo about it. Right. Uh, Lackenzie asks... Well, I guess we'll speak of Nintendo. Lackenzie asks, why is a, a random Mario Party 9 game included in here? And I don't think they're referencing uh, Tanks. Instead, they're referencing the puzzle game. I think it's called... Is it uh, Connect 6 in this one? or uh, Six Bowl Puzzle. Si thank you. And yeah, for, that is basically... That is ba entirely based on a Mario Party uh, 9 minigame. Um, so I don't know why it's here, but I'm kind of glad it is, because it's actually not a bad puzzle game. <laughs> yeah, they actually, in comparison to the original, I think they included more combos. Mm -hmm. So you can do sp make specific shapes and it will send out specific garbage to your opponent, right. which I think is a cool touch. Uh, Big Red N asks, 
For local multiplayer, can you pass around controllers if you have less than the number of players? Say if I wanted to play Ludo with four players but only had two Joy-Cons instead. So Don, uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure no. I'm pretty sure it's one Joy-Con mm -hmm. per player, right? So, so when you choose the number of players, it merely goes into the Joy-Con setup screen. Mm -hmm. So yeah. no. So and and the weirdest thing about this, not it, it's not really directly and uh, not directly an answer to that question, but it's so weird to me that they limit bowling to two players. That's the biggest difference in Wii Sports. In that you in that this game, which you would think would be the ultimate party game, really, because it has been before, is only capped to two players. I don't get it. <laughs> Anyways, GameCube yeah. <laughs> uh, asks. Do you see the undo feature being abused online, or is there some kind of limit that prevents that? So before I have you answer this, Dawn, uh, real quick, you can undo moves in most of the games, including in local multiplayer. But my question to you, Dawn, uh, is have you tested if you can undo moves online as well? I have not tested that exactly because I like to play it straight, so I've not really done that all that much. Okay, yeah, I wish I had looked into this. I, I want to say you can't, but I cannot back that up. So maybe I'll post a comment once we test this later on. So I'm pretty sure you sure. can't, but Sounds can't good. say for sure. Um, let's see. Serbic asks... Uh, actually, they asked something we already asked. So we'll go <laughs> on to a question from... Uh, let's see. <laughs> There's quite a few repeats here. Um, Bugard, who asks, Do all the minigames support four-player co-op? Uh, so I'm not quite sure what they mean there, actually. Uh, I mean, I mean, I think they they want they want to know if any games like seems you team up together, and the answer is no. Okay, they're all competitive. Yeah, that, actually, yeah, there there you go. Except for except for Team Tanks, where you do work okay. together yeah, yeah, yeah. to take on um, the CPU opponents. So that is right. one nice co-op game there. And I guess you could maybe and I guess I'm thinking also Blackjack. It's not. It's not co-op, but it's more competitive against the computer than each other. Although it is still kind of passively competitive, so... Mm, yeah, you're more fired against the dealer in that one, I suppose, yeah. Yeah. Uh, mm. Let's see, we have a question here from... Um, Jake Muller, who asks, Which games are available on the app that you download in the eShop to connect to another Switch? And also, how does the game work on Switch Lite? Okay, so here's the thing real quick. There is an app that... So if you want to play local multiplayer, but not everyone has a game... You're in luck! You can still play local multiplayer, because there is a free app available in which uh, everyone who doesn't have it can join in with you. Um, the downsides are, we haven't been able to test it ourselves, uh, because it's not available yet, so we don't fully know how it works. But I'm pretty sure any game available uh, for uh, that's available for local multiplayer, period, is also available using the app. Um, I don't have a full list of the games available in front of me, though. Do I you? do. Oh, perfect, So Don. it's the same, it's, it's the same list uh, we uh, discussed before. So it's Domino, Sanafuda, Richie Mahjong, Last Card, Texas Hold'em, Presidents, and Sevens. All right, there we go. Thank you. Um, next up, we have a question from... Uh, 112 asks, how does one unlock the Mario cards of certain games? I think we may have answered this already earlier, but yeah, how do you unlock those Mario cards, Don? Uh, so you need to play them, and then you get a notification that a new guide has appeared on your globe. You go to talk to them, and that unlocks the cards. Alright, perfect. Pretty easy. Uh, Shiv asks, how do I unlock the secret 50 second game? Like I told you, uh, there is no unlocking of games as far as we're aware. You just start off with all 52, but again, that 50 second one is a piano, and uh, that doesn't really count. Although, speaking yeah. of the piano, Caesar asks, can you save music you make with a toy piano? I don't think you can. Can you, Don? No. Oh, that'd be so cool. That would be that would be pretty neat. Uh, however, if you do want to do that, you may want to look into the Labo Piano, which kind of does let you... Um, I, I forget if it lets you save it straight up, or if you can create the little cards that are... Um, that, or, can you save it in that game? I don't remember. <laughs> I think it's it could. It's been so long since I played I know, it's been so long too. <laughs> Anyways, uh, you might want to look into that if you want to look at the option. Mm, um, yeah. John asks, what's the UI like? So we've shown off a... You know, they've shown it off at bit in trailers, and, sh and we showed it off in our own gameplay. And you can see it in our Treehouse video, especially, I think. Um, it's simple. Like, I don't know, it, it, like, I, it, it's really, it's pretty elegant. It's quick to get into a game, and I don't really have any major complaints with it, except for the fact that it's not easy to tell which games are multiplayer or not. I mean, it is if you hop into the modes with the amount of players, but it only shows you the games playable with those. But otherwise, it's hard to tell. You know uh, what's multiplayer or not, unless you explicitly have the amount mm. of controllers connected that you want to play with. But yeah, do you have any other comments about the UI, Don? 
No, it just looks really nice. I think that the icons are, are very clear as well, so you immediately know what game you go into when you slide past them. Right. So, yeah, there's not really much to complain about, really. Uh, Mehdi asks, Is it fun when you're alone, when you're playing single-player games against the, compu uh, the computers? So I think, have you been playing primarily single-player, Don? Uh, 50-50. So okay. uh, I've been trying to team up with others online, which has been really successful, actually, in this time around. Uh, but mostly I've been playing it um, through the single player modes and trying to get every single medal in this game, which is quite tough, I must say. It doesn't have... So, I know that some people asked about this. There is no stamp mode like it was in the DS version, mm -hmm. where you would have specific missions to complete. Um, it's mostly just getting the me medals for specific requirements. So sometimes it's about getting the best time in, say, uh, Klondike Solitaire or it is beating every single difficulty in a different game. Mm -hmm. So it's mostly that, and I'm still having a good amount of time with it, and I still really enjoy getting the most out of it. But uh, after a while, I would say you would mostly play it with friends or online. Yeah, as one who, unfortunately because of the quarantine, hasn't been able to test it in, uh, with online beyond a few multiplayer matches, or a few online matches, um, I haven't played mostly single player, and I think your enjoyment entirely depends on how much you really want to play these games, you know, period. And I think, I, mean, I think as you're saying, they're just, I think they are far better with friends. As, as one who's been playing primarily by myself, like, it's, it's nice that you have the option to play against computers. I really appreciate that's there. But as one who finds most of the value comes from playing against other people rather than the intrinsic gameplay of these games themselves, I, I can't say it's been a ton of fun by myself. You know, I'll help play with most of the games and I'm like, all right, cool, that worked, and I'll move on to the next one. And that's about I will, it. So. Yeah, I will say though, comparison comparison to other like mini game collections in this sense, the computers are actually really challenging in here. Yeah, and, and I that makes it a lot more fun, to be honest. And I like too that at least on the normal difficulty, the default one, it seems fair. Like they, they're not total chumps, but they're not really that hard either. It's a perfect level for introduction into the game, which I appreciate. Um. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> we have a question here from. Let's see. Uh, Paint, Painter Vision who asks, how do the toy sports games play? These look like some of the more simplistic games in the package. I'm wondering if they are fun to play or they're too shallow to come back to. So what do you think, Don? So we already discussed uh, toy soccer. Another one that I want to bring up is toy baseball. Because it pretty much plays with the same mechanics we saw in Wii Party U and Super Mario Party. Mm -hmm. Um, but what I like is that you have more options when it comes to throwing balls towards the player with the bat. Um, so there are more intricacies and there's more more play with around with foul play and how you hit specific targets on the field. Like if you hit your own little guy, uh, it still counts as a hit so you can um, cheat your little way to a point. So there are more rule sets to it, which I think I appreciate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, I think you touched on this earlier, Don, by the way. Painter Vision asks, are there any long-term stat tracking or in-game achievement keeping? So you already touched on the medals a little bit, which you can unlock per game. And I think, too, doesn't the game also track... I know if you can, like, look, bring up other players' profiles, I think it shows you what they've been up to. So, yeah, have you noticed any other, like, yes. long-term tracking options? So in addition to showcasing all the medals that a specific player has gotten, you can also see the records on specific games. So the single-player games... Uh, bowling, uh, golf, and a whole bunch more. You can basically see them in gigantic list and how they performed in those specific tasks. So basically, if you want to just screenshot some of your friend's scores, put your score next to it and post it on Twitter, well, you're totally good. There you go. Hey, uh, Don, by the way, do you have your Switch with you right now? I do. Perfect. How about we test it? Since someone's, if someone else is asking, uh, Lucas is asking, is the undo available online? How about we test it right now while, while we go through a few more questions? Sure. All right, great. So we'll get the answer for you all soon. We'll, we're doing this in real time. Real time uh, question checking, answer checking. All right, next up we have a question from GameGuy1996 who asks, does the bowling still include the 100 pins bowling? So bowling does include a challenge mode this time with the pins in various configurations, which is pretty neat. Uh, but I don't think... I haven't played all the way through, so do you know if that includes 100 pins bowling, uh, Don? I don't think it does, because I think that was its own separate think... mode before, right? No, I don't, I don't think it does, no. Okay. Uh, next up we have a question from Darren, who asks, Does darts have cricket rules like the DS version? So I know you played the DS version a fair amount, Don. Uh, does cricket mode return here? Uh, I 
didn't see cricket mode when I looked. It does have 301 and 501. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure about anything else because I really haven't dove into darts too much because honestly I didn't really enjoy it all that much. Right. Um, but I could, we could double check that, sure. Yeah, we can do a double check <laughs> while we're doing this. I created a lobby, by the way, if you want to hop in. Sure. Um, Noah asks, has the HD Rumble implementation stood out in any way, especially for the toy games? Yeah, actually, I would say this is probably like one of the better showcases of it since um, 1 2 Switch. Like, I'm reminded specifically, like, when you're shaking the dice in the bowl, uh, for, like, uh, Yahtzee or whatever they call it in this game. <laughs> um, yeah, dice, you, yeah. Yeah, thank you. You can actually feel, like, the individual dice hitting the rim. And that's kind of the case for a bunch of games. Or even in bowling, it's kind of weird, but I like it, in that when you're bowling, you can feel, like, the texture of the lane as the ball moves along it. <laughs> <laughs> Has anything else stood out to you, though, Don, about the HD uh, Rumble? And let's go checkers, by the way, for the online. Oh, oh, I, I mean, I would say... <laughs> Outside of uh, just feeling nice, I, I didn't feel any spring specific, mm -hmm. but um, no, it, it, it's it's just nice. It's an extra touch to the games. Okay. Uh, Steven asks, in the overview trailer, they mentioned traditional poker, but not as one of the playable games. Is traditional poker playable or just the variations of it? Yeah, I think I could be wrong, but I think the only version is uh, Texan, Texas Hold'em, isn't it? That's correct, yeah. Okay, yeah, there you go. Uh, King Flower says, can you play tanks multiplayer online? So you can play uh, battle tanks. Team tanks, unfortunately, is not online. All right, everyone, update. We have, a, we have an answer to the online question. You cannot undo online, at least in the game we're testing right now being checkers. Same thing for you, Don, right? No luck? Yeah. Nope. Okay. Uh, and, and now we're stuck in this mode now because there's no way to quit. Uh, I'm go ahead and exit out, and then we'll we'll check it. Wasn't there another? Wasn't there a mode you want to check on? Um, darts. Uh, right? I can check that on my Perfect. own. That's no, that's no problem at all. Okay. Uh, Froggy asks, does the limitations on games such as bowling for online and offline being two players only hinder the enjoyment of the game if you wanted to party? Um, so I guess yeah. I guess they're just asking, do we feel like the two player limit is a problem? I mean, it depends how many people you want to play with, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so, you agree? I mean, I, uh, I I didn't really mind it to be honest. Okay. Uh, so e no, it, there's there's count up 301 and 501. Those are the only ones available for darts. Yeah. So the the thing they were asking about uh, isn't cricket, I think. I'm not sure what Quaker actually entails, to be honest. Yeah, I'm not sure either. <laughs> so it seems like it's not, but if it goes by a different name, you know, there you go. Yeah, so so count up is counting everything together, and then 301 and 501 are the standard, like, dart rules. So it uh, if count up is the thing you're looking for, then uh, yes, it is. If it's not, sorry. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, can you join my lobby one more time, Don? There's one more thing I want to check. One sec. Sure, no worries. Thanks. Um, Nutty asks, does Clubhouse Games retain the quirkiness of Wii Play slash sports? Is there a similar feel to it? Uh, let me get your quick answer to this, Don, first. What do you think? Do this again. I wasn't looking at you. Oh, <laughs> uh, did, yeah, no worries. Is there, uh, do you feel that it has a similar quirky feel to Wii Sports or Wii Play? Um, yes and no. So I like the, always the quirkiness of the, of the Wii games. Mm -hmm. Um, but I was also a fan, and maybe that's why this resonates with me so much. I always prefer like the quirkiness of We Party and We Party You. Mm -hmm. um, and, and there are elements of this that definitely makes it back to it, but it isn't fully there. It feels more like it wants to be in halfway there between what the original Clubhouse games was and what NDQ created with their niche of party games, not named Mario Party. Right. Uh, Zach says, can you test online yet? If so, how does it work, especially with voice chat on the Nintendo Switch online app? So we've already touched on it. It works. We've had positive experience with it so far. Uh, my lobby's open, speaking of which, by the way, Don. Yes. And uh, as for the Nintendo Switch online app, um, I don't know. Maybe you know, Don. I don't know if they've confirmed it yet, whether it works or not. I can say it doesn't work right now, but that doesn't mean it won't work. It could just be that the servers aren't active for it or that they haven't updated the app. Yeah, in a usual Nintendo fashion, they don't uh, don't prepare the stuff until the the, the time it launches in every single region. Right. Oh, you, actually, update! It actually works, Don. I have it open now, and you can play it, so never mind. It works. Oh, wow. Ah, I'll be, it's shocking. All right. There you go. It, the, the voice app does work. You probably even heard the notification come through on my recording, so good times. Um, oh, no. 
Uh, MCN Mike asks, asks, is the variety of games enough, plentiful enough to be entertaining for a long period of time, like, so you don't get burnt out so quickly? So it's impossible to say for sure, but what's your gut reaction to this, Don? I think there's enough variety there, absolutely. I think so, too. I think um, when I get burned out from a card game, I immediately go back to a board game and feel alive again. So there's not much in the way of being annoyed or think there's something lacking. I think there's enough variety there to keep you going for a couple of hours and then go play something else. Right. Um, next up, we have a question from... Uh, let's see... A few more repeats here. Oh, here we go. JC101 asks... Do any of the ducks appear in Shooting Gallery like they did in Wii Play? If so, how about Duck Hunt Dog? So real quick, the Shooting Gallery in this game is basically an update of the Shooting Gallery from, from Wii Play, as they said, in which that case, it felt like an updated version of Duck Hunt to some degree. Uh, no, I haven't played it all the way through myself, Don, so have you seen any ducks in this game, or...? Mm, there are no ducks. No ducks?! Version, there are no ducks. That's disappointing. <sighs> oh, uh, most of the... There are different variations when it comes to shooting the targets. Mm -hmm. Like, um, not every run will feel exactly the same, which is a good thing, honestly. Right. Um, but there are an amount, set amount of points that you can earn throughout the run. Uh, in addition, there are UFOs, there are regular targets, there are minus three targets, there are golden targets, and that's what you get most of the time. And through the Towards the end point of every single round, you have to shoot specific targets on a on a train, which gets really tricky in the third round. Right. Uh, Fitzo asks, how does screen linking work between uh, Switch consoles and the Switch Lite, if at all? Uh, so that's like, I don't think I, I don't know. We've been able to, have, you, have you been able to test mosaic mode of the Switch Lite at all, Don? Uh, no. Yeah, I, we haven't no. either. So I mean, my guess would be. It works, I mean, I, I would assume it works, but I really can't say for sure, because I guess the configuration of the Switch Lite itself could be an issue. So yeah, I'm not quite sure. So yeah, but I don't. I actually don't want to say one way or the other, so ignore what yeah. I just said yeah. about even speculating. Um, <laughs> uh, maybe we'll test that later and see if that works, if we're able to. Mm. Uh, yeah. Nick's playing Animal Crossing asks, is it better or worse compared to Wii Sports, Resort, or Play? Uh, I mean, you can't even compare them. Like they're so no. Yeah, they're like they're they're similar in some ways, but different enough that you can't compare. It, so yeah, it, it's much smarter to compare to the original Clubhouse. Right. But interestingly enough, both are made by completely different developers. So even then, it's not a one on one because uh, the current version for Clubhouse seems more closer to what once again what AnyCube did with Wii Party and Wii Party U. Right. Uh, Trendy Brendy asks, where are the me that jump around and spin when you throw a bowling ball backwards? That is a great question. I miss them so much. I never thought I would miss those me's, but yeah, there's there's no me's in this game, period, and and nor is there anyone behind you in bowling. So you can't even throw the ball behind you in this game. Um, which again no. kind of answers the quirkiness question from earlier, where yeah, it's not quite quirky in the same way we we bowling or we sports could be. Um, let's see, Scott asks, are there any online multiplayer for some of the games, or or is local co-op only? I'm a little bit confused. Pretty much anything that you can play locally, you can play online too, right, Don? I think there's only... Yeah, uh, that's correct. Yeah, so, are there any exceptions to that? Or, uh, except for, like, you know, three games, right? No. Team Tanks. I mean... I, team, I thought, Team Tanks, yeah, Team Tanks doesn't work online, and there's two others, I think, that I... Maybe not. I, 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 had, I, had, I think I made a video about this, so go check out that video um, for more details, I think. Anyways. Oh, uh, I know. I know the ones that you were thinking about. were slot cars and fishing. That's it. Thank you. Yeah, so those, yeah, that's yeah. right. Those aren't online. There yeah. we go. So three you can't play online. Um, exactly, also, yeah. Real quick, by the way, I, I said earlier that you can't quit a game when you're playing online. Um, as far as I'm aware, that's still true for most of them, but we're playing chess right now, and it does give me a resign option, which I'm thinking is just for chess itself, but I think there are points in the game where you can reach, you know, like you almost end up in like an endless chase, which I think why resign exists here, but I don't think that exists in most of the, uh, most of the other games, right, Don? That's, that's correct. Okay. Yes. Um, let's see. Uh, what's another question here? Uh, Christian asks, is there background music for the games, and what is some of your some of your favorite tracks? We were touching on some of our favorite tracks earlier, I think. Uh, I think my favorite track is the one in four in a row. Yeah, I that one's not bad. And that one's used in a couple other games, I think, too, right? Yeah. I, yeah. I also really like the, the introduction credits song. I really like that song. Yep, that's a good one. Uh, as for... Is, you it, can it, actually hear it. Small plug, you can actually hear it in both the discussion and your Seven Facts video. Exactly, that's right. It's a good little preview of that. Um, and then, 
as for uh, if there's background music in the games, yeah, we just kind of answered that. Most of them have background music. The only exception that's jumping out to me at the moment is bowling, which again speaks to like that you know Wii Sports comparison because that game did have did have background music, so it kind of feels a little oddly silent in this one. I feel like the best the best of results music of all time. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Uh, here's a one from Professor J. What games have kept you coming back for more so far, Don? Oh, uh, I find myself playing a surprisingly amount of Yacht Dice. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yeah, y yeah. AKA Yahtzee. But that is a fun game. Yeah, but Yacht Dice works a bit different than regular Yahtzee because instead of standard point amounts, mm -hmm. outside of the streets, you get points based on what you roll, which makes it a whole lot more strategic in a lot of ways. Right. Uh, James asks, "How long would it take to set up a game of checkers with someone on your friend list? Both players would have both players would have the game." So real quick, I forgot I mentioned this earlier. So with a free app available in the eShop, it's only available for local play, as I said in our our preview video. So if you want to play online with a friend, they have to have the game themselves. They can't use the free yes. the free app. Um, to answer your question, though, how long does it take to set up a game? Well, we did this during this discussion, and it's super quick. Like, this game starts up, like, refreshingly fast, especially compared to Animal Crossing. We hopped online, Don joined my lobby in a few seconds, and then we can, then you just start the game. And it's all pretty instant, right, Don? Yeah, almost no lag either. Yeah, it's great. Uh, Natty asks, can I play with one Joy-Con sideways? So I think they're asking if you can play, like, online or single player with a single Joy-Con. I think you, you can, right? Yeah, totally, you yeah. can. Yeah. The only if exception, you as we said earlier, is that you can't play with a Pro Controller uh, for local multiplayer. Um, but you can use a, a, a Pro Controller online as well, so. Right. Um, let's see, what do we have next? Okay, uh, Don, have you played much uh, real life poker by chance? Or Texas Hold'em in real life? Not much, I'm afraid. Okay, then we'll skip this next question because I wouldn't be able to answer it. Uh, bestest asks, is Connect 4 an online game? You better believe it! <laughs> like I said, hey! like everything works online, so... Yeah, and I love Connect 4, so that's great. Um, CD, CDESJ asks, or CDESH asks, can we use a pro controller for any game? Pretty much most of them, with the only exception, I think, being, as we've touched on, uh, darts and uh, bowling. Because they, they wanted yep. to use either the touchscreen or the one-handed controls. With the even gun. even fishing and slot cars or with the Pro Controller, just those two games. Yeah, perfect. Uh, White asks, what's the online max for Texas Hold'em? I think it's four players, right, Don? That's correct, yes. All right, great. Uh, let's see. For re uh, no, that's the question we've already answered. Um, oh, here's a good one. Mario Galaxy. Uh, Mario Galaxy is the only good game. Asks. Whoa. Which game do you whoa. think was? In, which game do you wish was included to make it Clubhouse 52 games? Oh, that's a good one. Is there oh, any game here missing man. that you would wish was here? Oh, maybe a faux pas version of Monopoly. That is hilarious. I'm thinking the exact same thing. That's the one glaring omission I could think of. Is like if they had like a generic version of Monopoly in here, that'd be perfect, right? I mean, they have a generic version of Uno, so they could have had a generic yeah. version of Monopoly. That would've been great. I'm right there with you. That I mean, that could like they could have sold that game by itself, probably. <laughs> they could have. Maybe totally. Maybe that's why. Totally. Um, let's see. Brady doesn't have a question so much as a comment saying Mancala is the best board game. <laughs> I have enjoyed I, it. I actually. I, 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 this is the first time I ever played Macala. Mm -hmm. I actually really like it. Yeah, it's fun. Enough. It's I, fun. Yeah. I actually first learned how to play that game back in sixth grade, but I completely forgot everything about it. So I'm glad that's here. I was able, was, I was able to relive those memories. Um, totally. Why, uh, Gamma XP asks, why do people like this game so much? I think, I think it's for multiple reasons. One, it's something we're familiar with for the most part. We know how to play these games. It's a ton of games all in one package, and it's at the perfect time for the quarantine, where we can you have a lot to play, and, can, and I think it'll help bring people together uh, again. Also, or us, like Animal Crossing. Also, the, my specific generation who grew up with playing a lot of DS in their college days rem fondly remembers the name Clubhouse Games, too. Right. There you go. Because you only needed one copy to play with four people, like, almost every single game, so... Most people play Dead or Mario Party DS during that time. Right. Well, that's perfect. Uh, Gabriel asks, how many games have the ability to change the rules or type of game? Like in darts, can you play Cricket or 301? So we've already answered answered Cricket, uh, but it did have 301, you said, right, Don? For yes. Darts? Okay. Um, I, we don't, so real quick, we don't know how many, I don't think, of these games provide options that let you change how it plays. But a decent amount of them do. I think, if I had to guess, I would say fewer than half, maybe even a third. Uh, what, what's your take on that, Don? How many games let you adjust how you play? 
I think about half of them. Okay. Um, even if it's like smaller things, like one specific rule that will change how the game is played, right. then that's that still counts for me. Um, but there are specific games that have like a multiple um, triggers that you can pull off from, including like say darts again. Uh, so one of the most important dual rules in darts, if you want a free a five hundred one, is that you have to throw a double to finish off your round. Uh, you can also turn that off if you want to and just play for fun and play in any way you like. Okay. There you go. Uh, Nibbles asks, why do you choose your favorite food when making your custom figure at the start? So I'm pretty sure the only reason this exists is that way you can filter uh, the people that appear on your globe so you can see what games they recommend as well as some stats about them. Uh, you can filter it by what their favorite food is so they share it with you, for instance, and what their heart's desire is. Um, and yeah. I think that's it, right, Don? That's correct. Uh, it's just a cute, it's just like a cute little detail that serves almost no purpose, but they put it in there anyway. So it is kind of fun. Oh, one of my favorite things is when you choose one of those guides uh, to to appear in your list, so you can easily highlight them to see what games they recommend or, or choose the games they recommend. I love right. how you, they, like they have a little speech bubble that says, "I like pizza," and these are my favorite games. It's like okay, sure. I trust your judgment because we we share a mutual love for pizza. Why not? <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, Florian asks, can you turn off the option to be able to redo moves or undo moves in multiplayer, in local multiplayer? I don't think you can. I think, I, I'm pretty sure it's, I'm pretty sure it's just available for everyone. Is that, isn't that the case? Or have you noticed? That, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty exactly. sure it is, but I think I looked for it myself. So don't go, don't quote me 100% on this, but I'm pretty sure you can't turn it off. Um, hmm. Which is a little weird. I wish it did make that an option, but... The, uh, the best, you know, I mean, the best incentive is that, you know, your friend could just punch you in the arm or something if you want to do a move in chess when you shouldn't have. So, <laughs> um, not that I'm advocating they should do that. I'm just saying it's a likely outcome. <laughs> True. Um, we have a question here from uh, PBD who asks, does it have a challenge mode like the one on DS? So, this is a question for you, Don. We've already touched on how bowling is a challenge uh, its own challenge mode, but was there a greater challenge mode on DS, Don? Do you remember? So yeah, there was stamp mode once again, and we touched about this before. Stamp mode was their mission mode. Okay, so uh, where the you would right? unlock more customization options that way. There are not many customization options because in the DS you could unlock additional music and stuff. It was kind of bizarre how much you could unlock, actually. Uh, they don't have that much to unlock, mm -hmm. um, and they mostly keep it to medals. So if you're searching for stamp mode, you will sort of be disappointed. For some of the elements of stamp mode were was ridiculously hard also, so it, right. it kind of depends on what you were searching for in your game. Okay. Uh, Dan asks, 51 questions about Clubhouse 51 games. You have to. I think we will. Don't worry. I'm pretty sure the title you're looking at right now is probably 51 plus <laughs> questions about Clubhouse games or something of that nature. Uh, oh all right, God. here's a question we kind of touched on a little bit earlier, but it's a bit more specific. Caleb asks, are the motion controls on bowling as good as bowling on the Wii? So I'm curious what your take on on this is, Don. In my in my impressions, going or in my experience, going by memory, I'd say no. It doesn't feel quite as intuitive. I miss I miss being able to release, you know, in this game, you just swing and that's it. You don't have to worry about timing the release of the ball. And I kind of miss having to let go of a button. But on top of that, too, I find there's a little bit more finicky where like there are times where i swing the controller mm. and the ball just shoots down the lane i'm like there's no way i swung it that fast um but what what do you think right. Don? no i absolutely agree with that uh, it not, isn't as intuitive i would say that aiming your shots like moving your cursor around or moving your buttons around to place yourself correctly on the board is easier mm -hmm. um but um yeah not letting go of that button like really irks me the wrong way. Right. Like it, it feels wrong somehow. <laughs> yeah, it does. I, it's weird. I mean, maybe it's because we're just so used to Wii Bowling, but yeah, I kind of wish they had aped that a little bit more because they already had a template that everyone loved. Why mess with a good thing, right? But it's still, you know, it's still fun. And as a bonus yeah. to this game, it's it's fine. Um, but it doesn't it doesn't nullify the need for a, a proper sweet sports on Switch. So <laughs> see what did they're done. <laughs> I, I, I did double I yes I, I get it yes <laughs> alright we're nearing the end here actually um, here's a question from Chris who asks is it better than Super Mario Galaxy 2 yes yes it is since a lot is better than Super Mario Galaxy 2 wow 
I don't, even, I don't even know where to go there, especially when we're recording this on the day of Mario Galaxy 2's 10th anniversary. So how dare you, Chris? I'm offended by that question. I'm not even sure how to respond to that. To yeah, honest. nor I. Uh, yeah. I guess our final question here, unless there's any others you saw, Don, is from Muhammad, who asks, How fun is it? Like, the game modes, are most of them fun? So I think we kind of touched on this earlier with um, the multiplayer question, but I think when playing multiplayer, what would you say, Don? Are they fun? They are fun. All right, there you go. <laughs> there you go. That wraps it up. So, Don, were there any other questions you saw or anything else Anything else you wanted to bring up before we wrap it up here? There was only one weird question I saw that asked, if does it support Spanish text? What do you think it does? Okay. <laughs> Because it supports most of the languages, I think. It supports Japanese, English, Spanish, French, German, Italian, Dutch, and Chinese. It's a, did you say so Spanish among them? I missed it, if it was. Yes. I, once again, Japanese, English, Spanish, French, German, Italian, Dutch, and Chinese. Perfect. There you go. Well, hey, I'm glad we were able to answer that question. So, it's... Yeah. And hopefully, it's, speaking of which, we answered, I think, a whole bunch of questions here. So hopefully we answered anything you were wondering about in this f almost an hour-long video. <laughs> so, oh my Don, Lord. thank you for joining me to help answer and clarify a lot of things about Clubhouse 51 games. Um, worldwide Classics. God, that name, will, I'll never get used to that name. <laughs> it's actually different in Europe, right? Isn't it simpler? It's just Clubhouse It's games? It's 51 Worldwide Games. Oh, that's it. No Clubhouse games there. Which, I guess, yeah. Clubhouses aren't Be really a because, thing in Europe. Because the original was 42 All-Time Classics. Got it. Okay. I didn't even know there was a game on DS, by the way, until I heard about it after the announcement of this game. So you, you, you know, uh, uh, one last side note, and I know that some people asked about this. Um, so in the original, when you were chatting with somebody else over Wi-Fi connection, there was actually a weird version of PictoChat included. Oh, chatting. really? Yeah, and people asking. Is, was Pict is PictoChat back? Oh, it's like, no, I wish. no, it's not back. Yeah, actually, that's a really good thing to bring up real quick. There are no in-game communication options at all beyond what we now know is, is the Nintendo Switch Online app support. So I'm thinking that, I'm thinking you would probably want to use the app. Although, I guess we don't know, I guess we haven't been able to test whether it works um, with strangers or not. Because uh, for whatever reason, it doesn't want to connect Don and I as strangers, it will as friends. So it definitely works with friends. I don't think we know whether it works with, with strangers or not, but I think it, I, I would guess it, it would because most games now seem to support strangers, but again, it cannot say for sure, so. Yeah, hopefully it does. Yep, that'd be nice. All right, well, that's it. That's a whole bunch of questions about uh, Clubhouse 51 games <laughs> uh, answered for you. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, and of course, make sure to uh, subscribe to Game Explain if you haven't already for tons more on Clubhouse, uh, Clubhouse Games 51 Worldwide Classics uh, in, in coming up, including more gameplay, um, a few bonus things I want to point out, and of course a review coming up in a, probably a week or so, I think. So, anyways, we're done here. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you later. Bye, everyone.